This is Firegraph 5.2 with my sixth tutorial. And I'm going to be showing you how to make a countdown timer that stops at zero, resets automatically when it hits zero, uh, explode when it hits zero and automatically reset or manually reset, and how to make it a countdown timer easy expression, I suppose. <clears throat> okay. Uh, since the last time I made a tutorial, I got a new microphone. It's kind of awesome. Uh, it's not as much static in the background anymore. It's just a little sounds fuzzy, but there's not really anything there. Uh, I made my own derma skin. It's nice green and white stuff right here. Okay. And I still have that little clock in the top left. Alright, so since I've already used up a minute, let's go ahead and start with the lesson. Okay. So we're going to need a metal plate one and we're just gonna put that right there and we're gonna go to time or wire gate time and we're gonna choose a timer I'm gonna put this dead in the middle that way you can uh, that way it's kinda everything's around that <clears throat> okay so there's a time go to arithmetic Subtract. Just gonna put that right there. Uh, get a multiply under gate arithmetic. And I'm gonna put that right there. Actually. Small chips. Okay. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going to set it up to where it runs off a button. Well, yeah, you know, I'm just going to use a button, I guess. I use a light switch model. That way it turns it on. And I'm going to have toggle on. And just put that right there. Okay. So, we're going to wire We're going to use run to the button So I have it on uh, we're, I'll get you to reset pretty soon uh, Okay, now we're going to need a constant value And a constant value of 10 would be great So it counts down from 10 values 1 and just put that down okay now we're going to subtract oops we're going to subtract our value of 10 by the timer okay so this is at a value of 9.66. If this was at 0, it would be at 10. So that's what's going to cause it to count down. So if it goes up, it starts going down. Okay. Uh, we're going to need a comparison gate. Uh, what was it? Less than or equal. there and go back down to wire okay so <clears throat> now we're gonna see if the timer is less than or equal to zero so if this is at zero wait no we're actually gonna see if the subtract gate is at zero. Yeah. Uh, so, my bad, I didn't mean to wire it to the timer. Okay, so basically, if this is at zero or less than that, this value is going to be one. Okay. Uh, let me go get a bluish color. Alright, now we're going to see. Okay, now we're going to multiply 
our uh, lesson chip by the button. So um, this is going to make it to where I'm going to change the run to this button. And so if the, no, I'm going to wire the, shit. Uh, again, sorry, I'm a little tired. Uh, we're actually going to wire our run to this now that we have this set up. And then our lesson or equal. We're going to change that to a greater than. So sorry. Didn't mean it. Accidents happen. Okay, so if this subtract gate is greater than uh, greater than zero, since we didn't wire B's, it's going to be automatically zero. So if it's greater than zero, then that's going to be equal to one. Now we're multiplying that greater than by the button. So if the button is 0 and the greater than is 1, it's going to run. If the greater than is 0, the button's 1, it's not going to run because anything multiplied by 0 is 0. Mathematics. Okay, so when this equals like 10, like our, oh, the value right here, or if the timer equals 10, then it's going to stop running. It's just going to stop. Okay, now, so let me run this down. Six, seven. Okay, you see it stopped at 10.020005. It's only because things are so fast, or only so fast. And see, our subtract is that, but we're gonna round this up with a, um, a screen, and I don't feel like making a round gate, so we're just gonna wire that. Alright, so we have our run function. Let me turn off the button. And see that that's zero. And then our multiply is zero. Turn that on. So zero. Okay. It's getting kind of laggy for me for some reason. Okay, now, with that, we're going to make a reset function. So we're going to go to gate logic. We're going to choose not or invert. Um, I'm going to put that right below it. And now we're going to invert this greater than, then reset. It's going to go to that. So now if, see, it resets automatically when it hits zero. So if I let it run, that's going to be zero. and then resets. Okay, so that's how you make it automatically reset. I'll rewire that. Okay, so there's our reset, and now uh, I'm running out of time. Okay, so now let's make it to where it's uh, manual reset. We go to button, make a button clear, Toggle off value on one, value off zero. And I'm just going to put that right here. Now it will reset every time we push this button. So it will wire reset straight to the button. So you see it's at uh, 1.2. I hit reset, it's at zero. Okay, um, tune into part two, and we'll finish this lesson. I'll add a little ad notation for you guys, and then another link. Uh, see you there, I suppose.